the movie what we want to review today is Kannada one love mocktail it's available on amazon prime you on wiki's click now uh, this movie's star cast and crew it is directed acted and co-produced by krishna or darling krishna who plays the character adi and it is co-produced by milana nagraj who's also the heroine and then you have another character amruta ayangar playing the <coughs> role of joe and you have various other stars now ragu dikshit does the music for this movie and this movie runs for around 2 hours 27 minutes which is a good time slot if you believe in love has that magical element then you need to go watch this movie okay now how does the movie unfold the start of the movie is where the hero actually travels in his car and then uh, a freak accident happens and then he has to take uh, say one of the engineering students to her destination and then that person sits in the car and then the conversation happens and the hero is with a heavy beard and a cap and slowly the girl starts telling you are a kind of guy who would have fallen for you did you have any love stories you are like this you are like that all that uh, the initial uh, hiccups with the conversation starts and then the hero starts narrating his life completely and that's how the story goes now there are a lot of twists and turns from the start of high school where the love happens at the tuition center uh, there's a lot of relation of how they were then to what they are now all those are captured really nice the tuition scenes of the love is done in a very infant manner you feel okay this is kind of a movie is where is it going to but once it touches the engineering phase of Adi's life, the hero's life, that is where the story gets gripping and it goes really, really nice. It takes a fast track and then it moves. Now, you can see an amazing transformation of the hero Adi from the engineering student to getting a job in Bangalore and then the way the performance goes. At every stage, you see that the director or the hero here has matured in his movie taking and the way he has presented the scenes are really really nice now the love scenes between uh, joe and adi are captured very nice very very well bangalore to and fro mysore a uh, lot of angles lot of lust lot of kisses in the engineering phase and all that all those are captured really nice the intimacy is done really really well with lot of comical elements and you have his friend supporting at every juncture uh, the needed uh, comedy as well slowly the movie shifts to a breakup between joe and adi and then you have nidhi coming into the picture now nidhi is the heroine of this movie she is the nucleus because of the climax so she takes the entire credit of how she gets into Adi's life and then what happens and then a little bit of job we met is there where the scolding of uh, the boy and the girl also is there and then it moves on to a pure love uh, affection compassion all the adjectives put together is what Adi and Nidhi get together and then they get married and then life goes on now there are a lot of dialogues in this movie and the scenes are captured so well. One of the dialogue is we are all going towards money to, to buy a lot of things. But eventually what happens is we are losing out on a lot of time with our loved ones. So that's like a real classic one in today's world where we are going behind something whereas it's actually next to us. So uh, all those are captured very nice and he's actually narrating all this to the the engineering girl who's coming with her in the car coming with him in the car and that is how it is taken so all this happens and slowly what happens the engineering girl also starts liking Adi and starts liking Nidhi and he tells uh, she tells that I want to meet this uh, your wife I want to meet your wife meet your wife and then the story again goes back flashback goes back and then they go on and in the last 30 minutes or say 15 to 20 minutes uh, what life you think should be or you plan your life in one way exactly the opposite happens and God is giving you that 
or it is destined that this is what is going to happen. So for all what happens, a tragic incident happens, it's like uh, uh, ovarian cancer happens to Nidhi and then what happens in the end, how does the director finish off the movie is the rest of the climax. I would want to leave the performance, the emotions completely to the viewers to watch it. It is captured very, very nice. As I told, there are a lot of uh, uh, petty fights between Nidhi and um, Adi where uh, he, uh, Adi tells, uh, I'm like, uh, uh, I'm so blessed to have a wife like you because most of the wives will ask for gold jewelry and all that, but you are just uh, so happy with a Pani Puri. I'm so blessed. So such kind of things, uh, you need to find joy in small things is what he tries to convey. The maturity at which the director has directed this movie is really nice. At every stage, he takes you one level above and then he gives you that complete visual treat with emotions. The background music is amazing. Songs are placed very well. There is no song which is in the forefront but it's all played at the back end it is very very soothing uh, you after the movie is over you'll keep talking about Nidhi's character Adi and the music that's how it is taken camera is very fresh now and the end climax is also good you come with a heavy heart but you feel that yeah uh, this shouldn't have happened to Nidhi but uh, life must go on uh, you give all your credits to Adi and you tell Adi you, you are just a great person so that's how you will kind of end this movie when you come out now, uh, all these are, there are a lot of positives in this movie. Now, what are the drawbacks? The drawbacks, what I saw personally was, one was, there is a disconnect of the director or the hero here with his parents. Now, the narration is very clear with Nidhi's character telling that she is an orphan. But for the hero, his parents are there. But nowhere in this 2 hours, 27 minutes or after he goes to Bangalore or such to get a work and then get married and all that, Nowhere the parent connect is there. So that, that I felt something is let down. Uh, that is one particular thing. And the other one is uh, the, the initial uh, tuition scenes, the infant scenes. Uh, the direction wa was looking more artificial. It was not natural. Uh, that's I think because of the kids who had played that role. Uh, they are all new characters, new characters. No one established there. So that I felt very infant, uh, am I sitting in the right theater to watch this movie is what I felt in the first 15 minutes. But once it moved to the engineering thing, the transformation what Adi gave, the director gave uh, with the hoods on, playing the cricket and all those things, uh, that was really nice. And then the beard the, uh, with that arrogance and the matured look and all that once he gets a job. And then he gets married to Nidhi. All those scenes, the proposal scenes, all those are done really well. So these are the two drawbacks what I had. But it's a definite must-watch movie. On Wiki's Clicks, we are going with a 4.7 on 5. Thanks for watching.